Is that what you do? You don't want to go outside? So I got the work done today. Got some flower beds de uh, de weeded. I did it while the uh, rain had kind of stopped, while everything was soaked to make it easier to get the weeds out. Just a minute ago, I came out here to check on the chickens, and I startled a deer. It was right in front of my husband's truck. It was a big freaking deer. Uh, it was huge. I, I couldn't tell if it had antlers because it was running too fast, but it was probably the biggest deer I've seen in a while. That was that was pretty wild. And it ran silently. I wouldn't have even known if it was there if I hadn't seen it. I'm hoping my uh, camera caught it. I have a game camera that points out that way towards the chicken coop so I can tell if any animals are messing around and coming around the coop. Because if I see something like uh, foxes or anything like that showing up on the camera, I will know to put out a live trap so that I can catch it and either dispatch it or relocate it depending on what it is. So, yeah. I hope it caught it on camera. I'll check it tomorrow. Check out that fog back there. Isn't that cool? Alright, so I just finished building the door for the chicken run, and and was in the middle of making the, I guess you could call it an awning, covered porch for the chicken coop, when there was a massive crack of thunder. My camera is fogging up. Massive crack of thunder, and I decided that standing inside a metal cage was probably not a good idea. So I'm gonna go in the house and get cleaned up and make a Lowe's run. I've got a couple things that I need to get to finish up the coop so I might as well do that now. Since it looks like the construction is gonna be stopping for a little bit. Alrighty, so here we go. Here is the coop. The chickens are still kind of getting brave about coming out. They're still not sure about it. Um, that one right down there on the ground, whose tail feathers are sticking straight up in the air. That was our free chicken. 
Pretty sure it's a rooster. So we shall see. Hopefully it's not aggressive. Because I don't need an aggressive one. Alright. This side of the coop here has a slit window for light and airflow. I'm going to be building a shutter to go over all of the windows. The run is 25 feet long and about 7 feet wide. I've got like a little awning here that is for shade and their food and water will go underneath there. Um, built the ramp. Right now I've got chicken wire underneath the coop because if I need to put them all in at night I don't need them running under there and me having to crawl under to get them. At least until they learn how to go in at night. Alright, this end over here is where I access the nesting boxes. I don't really have them set up yet, they're just kind of sitting in here. Hello there! The bottles are for ice, gives them a nice cool space. I mean you can feel it's like cold air coming out of here. It's fantastic. Uh, there's room for five nesting boxes. Right now I have their food and water in here simply because they haven't figured out about the going outside thing yet. Once they're doing that on a regular basis, food and water will all be outside because food and water inside draws bugs and pests and everything else. So there's the other two doors, or the two windows. Again, I'm building shutters for them. This is the big door that is for opening it up and cleaning. Got the run again from this side. I have netting all up here on the top, which is to keep hawks from swooping down and getting them. Because right now the chickens are kind of little and hawks would love them. And then let me give you a peek at the inside. So here's the inside. Again, the nesting boxes. And please ignore the dogs barking. They're freaking out because they can't get to me. Nesting boxes are shaded. I have a ladder uh, perch kind of thing set up for of two by twos. They kind of like that, but then I've also got a platform up there that is six feet wide. It's got linoleum on it for easy cleaning. They also like going up there because it's nice and high. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point there's some sitting up there too when they figure all that out. And I've got another perch here. Oh, there's that food thing I was looking for. Take that out of there now. Uh, yeah, so there you go. There is the inside of the coop. The whole coop is six feet by seven feet, so they've got 42 square feet of coop. Lots of space. Lots of space, yes. How you girls doing? How you girls doing? This is a silver laced wine dot. There's a black star. Silver laced wine dot. What you doing? This is blue. This is the one with the broke beak. You can see her beak is still dyed blue. Has to keep her from getting hurt. They'll peck her if she's red. And then back there, you can see the reddish brown ones. Those are my Rhode Island reds. And here comes the rooster. Hi. I'm going to call you Hawkeye. Hi, Hawkeye. Yep. Say hi. All right, I am pouring sweat. It's disgusting. Outside for five minutes and sweat coming everywhere. All right, y'all get back in there. You want to go outside, go out the other door. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh -uh, need to get back. Other door. Go on. Alright, so there's the chicken coop. <sighs> Alright, I gotta go take a shower. Hello. How you doing? You liking your new house? You like your yard? You guys got plenty of room now, huh? Yeah? Hello there. 
It's like one, two, three, four, five, five line dots all in a row. There's a black star. There's my golden lace. There's blue. That's the one that had the hurt beak. She's doing good though. She's recovering. What you guys doing? Hmm? Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog and head in the house and eat my dinner. Hope you had a great weekend and I will talk to y'all next time.